For nearly 100 years, the Chicago District Golf Association has stood for excellence in this extraordinary game of golf. Now the CDGA's magazine comes to life on TV. Chicago District Golfer celebrates the traditions of the past while connecting with the present. It's a golf show that is sure to inform and to have a little fun along the way. For what's important in Chicago golf, it's Chicago District Golfer TV. We have a blockbuster of an opening show. PGA Tour star Luke Donald stops by to give us a helpful short game tip. We'll get the skinny on what goes into course ratings, slope, and handicaps. The great Chi Chi Rodriguez gives us a tour of his Dorado Beach Resort in sun-splashed Puerto Rico. It's time to check out the hot new equipment for 2012. We'll visit Chicago's ultimate custom club fitter club champion, and we talk to Davis Love III, the U.S. captain of this year's Ryder Cup team at Medina. Chicago District Golfer TV is presented in part by your Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana BMW Centers, Wilson Golf, MB Financial Bank, Club Champion, and Athletico. Hello everyone, I'm Jill Carlson and welcome to the season premiere of Chicago District Golfer. I'm sure you've already teed it up with the amazing weather we're having so far this spring. Well, you've no doubt noticed the slope in rating on your scorecard, but what does it all mean and who's responsible for those numbers anyway? In, in a pie, if pie produces 93, then it's three into that all sounds like a bunch of gibberish. A lot of math is involved in establishing the slope and rating of a golf course. We're talking lots of numbers. But it's also that you and I, no matter the difference in our handicaps, can play a match and compete. Uh, essentially, I mean, ratings are just there to establish handicaps so that we need, you know, we need accurate ratings so that everybody's handicaps uh, work correctly. Um, kind of sets a baseline for, you know, what score you shoot as compared to the course rating. So, uh, without ratings, you know, there really wouldn't be a handicap system uh, the way we know it now. Well, slope is, is, is used to determine the handicap. And if you go from one golf course to another where slope might be low at one course and higher at the other, you shouldn't play at the same handicap level that you are with the easier golf course. And that's what slope really does, is it makes your handicap transferable to another golf course. So that explains why a course's slope and rating exist. Here's what they mean. Well, we're determining uh, how difficult the golf course is, and that we do it with two players, the scratch player and the bogey player. And we go to where the bogey player hits the shot, and we determine what the obstacles are. We go where the scratch player hits it. And so you have two course ratings, one for the scratch, which we see on a scorecard, one for the bogey you do not. The further apart they get, which normally happens when you have a tough golf course, the higher slope becomes. Uh, the standard that we use in our system is 113. And, uh, that represents a course at 113 where a player's scores are expected to be one stroke higher than every other player that they're playing against um, it's handicap index. So if my handicap index was 10.0 and I'm playing against a guy who's a zero, a scratch, on a 113 slope rated golf course, we're going to be 10 shots apart. But put us on a course with a 140 slope rating and our scores may be 13 or 14 strokes apart, not just 10. So it kind of separates, it kind of determines the spread of scores, not just the difficulty of the golf course. Well, the way it works is the, the bogey player we're talking about hits the ball 180 yards on the fly and rolls 20 yards, so he ends up at 200 yards. And that's where I'm measuring from here, right at 200 yards. The USGA has a set system for grading courses, which the CDGA implements locally. There are eight experienced graders on this day at Midlothian Country Club. When we rate a golf course, uh, we start with the basic thing is the, is the starting yardage, which is very important because yardage does represent over 90% of a course rating. And we start by looking at things that might affect yardage, such as roll, uh, dog legs, layups, uh, prevailing wind, and, to, and uh, elevation changes from tee to green. And we get what's called a yardage rating. Uh, fairway width here is um, 27. They also determine an obstacle rating. Pretty much everything's factored in. The width of landing zones, where hazards come into play, and the size and speed of greens measured by a stimp meter. Run, run your green speed. Give me your did. speed. What did you get? Twelve. Twelve. Well, they told us. They told us that they were running twelve yesterday, Mike. 
but he said normal mid-season conditions are 10 and a half to 11.4. So we're not basing it on what we see today, right. we're basing out what's normal. Yeah, and that's right. Yeah. They weigh input from the core superintendent, the head pro, even members of the club. This green, see, if I had a shot from right here where that pin is, I gotta aim at the camera crew, because there's a 90 degree turn. Midlothian's got a storied history. It's hosted U.S. Opens and Western Opens, among others. But courses change. It's important that the slope and ratings change, too. The CDGA comes out periodically to rate the golf courses um, about every six or seven years. We've made some changes in our golf course, primarily with the tee boxes. They've uh, lengthened a few tee boxes. They've added a few uh, shorter tee boxes for the ladies' uh, forward tee boxes. It might tick up a half a stroke. Um, it's, the yardage is such a big part of, uh, of rating the golf course that um, that is such, you know, such a big factor. It's time to post those scores and see where you stand with your buddies and at your home course. Up next on Chicago District Golfer, we'll take a gander at some hot new products, check in with club champion, and get a short game tip from former Northwestern and current PGA Tour star, Luke Donald. We don't make sports cars. We don't make SUVs. We don't make hybrids. And we don't make luxury sedans. We only make one thing. The ultimate driving machine. All new BMWs include ultimate service. Pay for nothing except gas and tires. Hey guy, how's the game? Yo, Strails. Never better. Looks like you are loving those Wilson Staff irons. Longer and straighter. A real game changer. A real life changer. Not to mention, the best wingman I've ever had. Seriously? Ooh. Are these the new Wilson Staff CI-11 irons? Why, yes they are. Do you want to play around? Seriously. Aren't you tired of buying clubs that don't improve your game? At Club Champion, we fit tour players, top amateurs, and golfers of all skill levels who are serious about hitting more fairways and greens and sinking more putts. In your session, our certified fitters will have you test equipment from all leading companies using state-of-the-art technology to find the perfect setup for you. We then build each club to your specs and deliver to you in a timely fashion. Schedule your fitting today at Club Champion to get the edge you need because a better fit means lower scores. So here we are in the bunker. This is the actual part of the game that I really enjoy. You know, a lot of people don't like being in the bunker. They find it hard. But it's all about technique and, and setup, especially in the bunker. And here we are, we have a short shot. Um, you know, in today's game, all the pin positions are cut really close to the edges of the green. And if you miss it on the wrong side, you, you've got to be able to hit the ball out of the bunker nice and high and create some spin. And the way to do that in bunker play again is to use that back edge, uh, use the bounce, and by doing that, the best way to you know, open up and expose that bounce is by changing your setup. Again, you want the ball really forward. You almost want the shaft of the, ang uh, of the club leaning backwards. Um, that will really expose that back edge. Again, when you get that ball forward and the shaft leaning backwards, that promotes a really open club face. You, know, you want to rotate and get this club as open as possible. Now, and if you want to create spin and speed, uh, spin with a bunker shot, you've got to hit it very hard. And uh, by opening it up, you're glancing across the blade and you can hit it as hard as you want and create more spin. Let's try and hit one. Nice and forward, shaft leaning back. Open that blade and hit it hard. And the ball will come out and hit nice and softly and uh, won't release. You know, you can really pitch it right by the hole that way and you know, you're able to control it. Thanks, Luke. No doubt the best golfer to ever come out of Northwestern. Let's shift gears a bit now and head to Orlando, Florida and the PGA Merchandise Show to see this year's hot new products. The Business of Golf is brought to you by MB Financial Bank. 
The annual PGA Merchandise Show attracts over 1,000 companies and brands, along with more than 42,000 PGA professionals, buyers, and industry leaders. If it's golf-related, it's here, especially the newest innovative products. Cobra Golf recently paired up with Puma. This colorful brand is sure to open some eyes and make some noise with its new AMP driver. Uh, it stands for Advanced Material Placement. That's all about thinning the walls in areas of low stress in the driver to maximize our weight distribution, maximize our forgiveness. Also features E9 face technology. Uh, face technology is a hallmark of Cobra Design, hotter nine points people might remember. E9 takes that to the next level and that's really just about generating maximum ball speed, maximum distance on off-center hits, which is where we pretty much all hit the drivers off-center. TaylorMade continues its role, launching 19 new items for the year. Its hot new Rocket Balls line leads the way. We got guys coming over here hitting fairway woods, picking up 17, 20, 25, 30 yards in distance with their fairway wood um, compared to their last one that they had or to their gamers. So we're seeing a lot of real fun stuff happening with the new products. The technologies are, are amazing. Uh, we continue to, to really kind of redefine the game and redefine the, the metal wood category. Callaway Golf's finally jumped into the adjustable driver category. Its new razor fit can be quickly modified on the hosel and with weights on the sole. Maybe the one thing that makes our driver a little bit different is that the adjustability, it's simple adjustability. So one of the things that I hear from a lot of people, I work with a lot of consumers on a regular basis, is, is they don't know how to set the driver up because there may be too many options. And with the Razor Fit, it's very simple. We have an open face angle position, we have a square, and we have a closed. So it just depends on what the player wants to look at at address and what type of ball flight they want to see. Nike Golf's touting its new VRS line. It claims you can pick up 30 to 50 yards in distance throughout your entire bag. So we've been working on a, a technology for about six years called Nextcore, and it allows us to be able to speed the, uh, the ball up coming off the face of our drivers, our fairways, our hybrids, and even some of our irons uh, by a new engineering technology that we got on the inside of the club. For years, Mizuno Golf's been known as the PGA Tour player's favorite irons. The company now has a line of irons for any skill level. We just recently launched three new iron models, two on the MP side or better player side. Uh, we have our brand new muscle back, which is MP69, uh, and that features our new 4D muscle. Uh, we also have kind of a shallow cavity design featuring uh, tie muscle technology. And what tie muscle does for us, it allows us to expand the sweet area, make it more playable, easier to use while still keeping a compact head size and lots of uh, thickness behind impact for a great feel. The local brand of Chicago's Wilson Golf is out in full force. Among its many new and exciting products is the DXI driver. Most drivers weigh just 320 grams. This baby comes in at just 269 grams. The biggest challenge for non-tour players or really good low handicappers is getting the ball out and play through distance. With this driver, because of the lightweight aspects, a player can pick up two to four mile an hour club head speed. That equates to about seven to 10 yards in distance off every tee, which for most players is the difference between sometimes hitting a, a four iron or a five iron and a seven iron. So it's really important, we're really excited about it, and it's our first four way really back into the driver arena. There are so many choices out there and the clubs just get better and better every year. Of course, that's par for the course. Let's continue our look at hot products now, shifting from the world stage of the PGA Merchandise Show to Chicago's club fitting experts at Club Champion. Hi, my name's Nick Sherber with Club Champion Golf. Today we're going to be discussing the hot topic, belly putters. You see them on the PGA Tour and you're starting to see them more around the golf course. Why do you go to a belly putter? Most people go to a belly putter because they're not putting well and that's a good enough reason. But it might also be that you're a good putter and you just want to get better. It provides an anchor point that you can repeat time and time again. Let's start with that anchor point. First is finding the proper belly putter is finding the proper length belly putter. How do you find the proper length belly putter? First, you need to find your position. Most people's position should be just left of their belly button or slightly higher than that point. From there, you need to figure out the length that not only touches that point, but then gets your eyes, shoulders, and body in the proper position to hit the putt. A putter fitting can help you get to that point. Then from there, you wanna decide on what head style you should be using. 
Through a putter fitting, you can decide on what kind of style putter you should be putting with. Most you're gonna find are face balance mallets, like the one I'm holding here. As you can see, when I balance it, the face shoots straight up in the air, and that's gonna be good for some strokes, but not for all. Through a fitting, you can find out which one will be right for your stroke, as far as maybe you need some more toe hang, which I'm demonstrating here, which you can get in other putters. The last point is you wanna find the proper weight of the belly putter. This is gonna help you with your speed control and your stroke control. So some people need it a little bit lighter, some people need it a little heavier. Have someone help you find out which one that is. Club Champion has three Chicagoland locations, including downtown. Up next, we'll chase a little sunshine with Chi Chi Rodriguez in his homeland of Puerto Rico at the renovated Dorado Beach Resort. Bose Creek Country Club has set the standard for public courses with a private club feel. This exquisite 18-hole championship layout offers the exclusive member four day concept. Pay just one fee and you get unlimited golf with a cart and full use of the bent grass practice facility. Plus there's Porter's Pub, a casual English style restaurant and bar that will complete your day the way you want to play. It's all here at beautiful Bose Creek Country Club in Elgin, Illinois. If you're a golfer, then the Chicago District Golf Association has something for you. The CDGA is home to a state-of-the-art golf handicapping service, which allows golfers of all skill levels to compete on a level playing field. The CDGA sponsors and conducts more than 50 championships for amateurs, high and low handicappers, juniors, seniors, men and women. The CDGA is a leader in charitable causes that brings the game to those with special needs. The CDGA is truly for everyone who plays the game. Visit CDGA.org for membership information and more. Some say the beauty of Eagle Ridge lies within the landscape of rolling hills and breathtaking elevation changes not seen anywhere else in Illinois, while others say the beauty rests in its 63 holes of championship golf, anchored by the highly acclaimed The General, and yet most will claim the beauty is in the serenity of its natural surroundings. But all are in agreement, the real beauty is that all of this is less than three hours from downtown Chicago. Beauty indeed. Padraig. Padraig, what were you thinking coming up 18? What no, do you believe in? Nothing. Need... My man has total trust in his new FG Tours. Any more majors in your future? Absolutely. Of course. He plays Wilson staff, people. More majors won than any other iron brand. <laughs> Next question. Yeah, I have a question for you. Yeah. Have you ever held a five iron up in a left right wing coming down the stretch in a major? Seriously? Seriously. Welcome back to Chicago District Golfer. Dorado Beach Resort in Puerto Rico just sounds exotic, doesn't it? Well, a young pro by the name of Chi Chi got his start there back in the late 1950s, and now he's proud to be back at this Caribbean resort, which truly has it all. Dorado Beach Resort's been the pride and joy of Puerto Rico for over a half century. This famed retreat's operating in a revived manner these days. It's in the midst of a top to bottom makeover throughout its lush 1400 acres. Tranquility is the name of the game at this 72 hole golf mecca perfectly situated along three miles of pristine Caribbean coastline. Well, this was one of Lawrence Rockefeller's original rock resorts, which are famous luxury eco resorts that he developed in the late 50s, two in the Virgin Islands and one here at Dorado Beach in Puerto Rico and they're legendary and so we had the opportunity to renovate his resort and do it along the same standards that he had very ecologically sensitive very luxurious very unique well i think it's going to be a very very uh, family oriented place and uh, the families can play golf and have a wonderful day the sky is the limit here this is this is the place uh, and I think that Dorado Beach will be what it used to be uh, in the late 50s and the early 60s. Now the East Course, an original Robert Trent Jones design, has been masterfully restored by his son's architectural team. Trent Jones Jr.'s staff fine-tuned this beauty in a number of ways. They improved sight lines to give clearer views of the beautiful Atlantic Ocean. What we found when we, when we were given the opportunity to have a chance to come in and give it a facelift is that uh, the golf course had really stood the test of time pretty darn well. And it's a really good test of golf. So what we did is we looked at ways to give it a lot more flexibility, a lot more fun for the average player. So we widened the fairways out, we pushed the bunkers out a little bit, and then we also added length whenever possible so that a lot of the better players 
would be further back and the bunkers we pushed out a little bit more so that gave more room for the average player and then pinched the better player and did some things and Mr. Jones Sr. is a wonderful artist and technician especially around the greens. Oh, the East Course is legendary and um, you know unfortunately the course has fell into a little bit of disrepair over the years as the hotels closed and we always thought let's let's bring it back to the top top level in the Caribbean and make it one of the top courses in the world so when we started renovation of the entire project and construction on the hotel the East Course for us was a very important centerpiece. These are masterpieces this was Robert Train Jones and his son now uh, at their best. I've been playing these golf courses for 54 years. And that's how you know if a golf course is a great course. If you can play for 54 years and you never got tired of it, that's a, that's a great golf course. Whether you're a golfer or just looking to kick back for a bit on vacation, Dorado Beach comes through in every relaxing way. And since Puerto Rico is a U.S. territory, you can use your American currency, your cell phone without roaming charges, plus it's a direct flight from Chicago. What's not to love? Speaking of, it's a chat with the U.S. Ryder Cup captain Davis Love up next. Don't touch that remote. We don't make sports cars. We don't make SUVs. We don't make hybrids, and we don't make luxury sedans. We only make one thing, the ultimate driving machine. All new BMWs include ultimate service. Pay for nothing except gas and tires. swing is unique. So is Swan Lake Resort. Are you ready to go? How's the hip? I think you know that we have to take this one plant at a time. It's really the only way that Eunice Fellman knows how to garden. We have got a lot of great bulbs, strong perennials. I am looking forward to a great season and can't wait to get back out onto the field. So thank you and good night. Unit, unit. Unit, unit. Oh, I, I think Davis knows what to, what to do. Uh, you know, I had him be my assistant because I figured he'd probably be the next captain. So he's, he's seen a lot of uh, the inner workings on, on just how to get things done. Uh, there's a lot more to being captain than just, you know, picking the players and the, and the pairings. So there's a lot to be done and, and he's working on, on that. And uh, when the time comes for the team, he'll He'll have his own method and his own thoughts on how to, uh, you know, get the team to play the best. The biggest event in golf's taking place this fall at the renowned Medina Country Club. The man at the helm of the U.S. Ryder Cup teams, a six-time participant, Davis Love III. Our Dave Lockhart recently caught up with a man who's trying to bring the coveted cup back to U.S. soil. I'm proud to be joined by Davis Love III, captain of the Ryder Cup team this year in Medina. And uh, I know as Chicagoans, we're really looking forward to this tournament. Uh, we're early in the season right now, but what are you preparing right now for the Ryder Cup? Well, we're picking out outfits and um, doing the, the little things. You know, you, you have to get a golf bag and you have to get head covers and you have to get yardage book covers and all that kind of stuff. So my wife and I are picking all that kind of stuff out. And I'm um, really preparing, you know, we're talking meals and schedule and things like that, the behind the scenes stuff. You know, the golf is interesting. It's fun to watch these guys making putts and winning playoffs and all that. But uh, the golf will get more serious later in the summer. You've played in many of these. How many exactly do you remember? This will be my eighth one I've been a part of. So it's, uh, it's exciting to be there. I told the PGA of America, I'll go and pick up the towels and clean the range if you want me to. It's such an exciting event, but it's an honor for me as a son of a PGA member to, to be the Ryder Cup captain. In case you missed it, last fall, Davis and European Ryder Cup captain Jose Maria Olathabal had a little fun at Trump Tower, hitting golf balls from the 16th floor onto a floating green on the Chicago River. The fundraising event was the kickoff to this worldwide event. I think that's your ball. That's your ball. Ladies and gentlemen, Jose Muriel. 
Bobbitt and Davis Love the third. Davis, how tricky is it to get the United States players' mindsets on match play when we're so accustomed here in the United States to playing stroke play tournaments? What we got to do is just relax and have fun. Freddie has proven that at the last two President's Cups, that, um, and, and Paul Azinger at the Ryder Cup in Valhalla. When the guys are relaxed and having fun, they play better. I think we'll have a home field advantage at Medina. We'll have a home fan advantage for sure. We're always a one-point underdog when we go across the pond, and at Wales we lost by a point, you know, and I think that's the difference. We'll have our fans, of course we're used to, and uh, be a little bit more comfortable at home. Talk about the home course advantage and uh, you have the jurisdiction to kind of doctor it a little bit or manipulate a few different things to make it more comfortable for your players, correct? We want it set up uh, fair and fun, but the biggest thing to me is the fans want to see some birdies. They don't want it set up so hard that every hole is putting for par. Um, our team puts better for birdie probably than we do for par. Um, if we can get on a roll and make some birdies, I think that's good. So we don't want it too tough. But Benina is going to be tough enough, and uh, you know those last few holes are going to be very exciting. A lot of drama from 15 in, so um, we'll set it up. If there's a way to set it up to our advantage, we'll try to do that. Davis, this is a huge deal for us in Chicago. We don't have any other golf tournaments this season. Encapsulate, if you will, what this is going to mean for the city of Chicago. Well, it's huge. You know, it's like getting the Olympics. You know, the the Ryder Cup is the biggest event in golf, and. Um, now I know from being behind the scenes for a year and a half really how big it is. It's just incredible what it's going to mean to, to Chicago, Chicago golf and Chicago sports. You know, five great sports teams there have already gotten behind us. And uh, I think the fans are going to really be shocked at uh, the whole world is going to be watching this just like they would in Olympics. This is the first time the Ryder Cup's ever been staged in the Chicagoland area and we can't wait. Be sure you check out cdga.org for all of the latest news golf-wise in the state, like the Ryder Cup, Chicago District Golfer Magazine, or our TV show. I'm Jill Carlson. Thanks so much for watching. Now, get out here and tee it up. Have an exceptional golf experience at Aldine Golf Club. Take a quick drive to Rockford to experience a fantastic round of golf on this championship course. Aldine Golf Club was voted one of the top 50 courses in the U.S. with greens fees under $50 and ranked the best municipal course in Illinois by Golf Digest. Aldine was also recently selected as a host site for a 2014 U.S. Open sectional tournament. To book your tee time, visit AldineGolfClub.com. Yo, Rick, man, there you are. Autographs, huh? One of the drawbacks of being a pro, right, brother? Oh, so you're a pro now. Well, technically, no, but ever since you've turned me on to these Wilson Staff irons, my distance and accuracy have been off the charts, so I've been playing like one. Oh, I bet the guys are going to start seeing it Monday qualifiers. Woohoo! <laughs> Real Barnes burner there. Ooh, we got one coming up this week? Seriously? Seriously? Seriously. Located in the heart of this quaint village is the Mount Prospect Golf Club, quite possibly the best neighborhood golf course in the world. Originally built as a private club back in the 1920s, this exceptionally maintained course with its mature trees and classic design still stands at test of time. Group and private golf lessons available, or book your next golf outing just minutes from your office or home. See for yourself why Mount Prospect Golf Club is quite possibly the best neighborhood golf club in the world.